Welcome back to Tafa Repairs. If you're getting a no crank and no start and you're not hearing any clicking noise, make sure to check your starter relay before replacing your starter. The starter relay normally is located right in the fuse box underneath the dashboard and sometimes in, in really weird spots right behind the radio. When you locate the fuse box, make sure to look underneath the cover. It will tell you exactly where the starter relay is located. It may take some effort to remove the starter relay, but if you grab it hard enough and straight, you can pull it right out. This is how you read a simple starter relay diagram. Number one and two is to energize the coil. And number three and five, I believe, is to complete the circuit. This is a simple drawing of a starter relay, just in case your starter relay is not clearly marked. Now, this part here and here is where you're going to give 12 volts. When that happens, it's going to energize the coil and the contact over here and here is going to close. And when you check it with your multimeter, you should get some sort of reading in ohms. If the starter relay is not clearly marked and you can't see it anymore just because it's faded, this is how you test the uh, starter relay. First, just apply 12 volt source to any of the pin. And next, take your other side and just randomly touch any pin until you hear a clicking noise. When you hear a clicking noise, right there, that means the coil is energized. Now you can test for resistance. Make sure to test your motor meter before testing the starter relay. First, Set the multimeter to ohms. Next, take your test lead, touch it together, and you should get a reading. Next, take your test lead, connect it to the jumper wires, and put the jumper wires on the opposite side of where the coils are energized. Now, take your power source and touch the last remaining pin, and you should get a reading. If you don't get any ohms reading, that means there's an open circuit and the circuit are not closing. And that means the starter relay is bad. But again, if you get a reading, that means your starter relay is good. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.